Alright YouTube, Madam Roy back once again and this is the video that I've been promising you guys for about a week now. This is a video about my MP3 player collection. Um, now, I've actually added a couple since I, I said I was going to make this video. Um, let's go and get started with my two primary units. Now, these are kind of unusual. Um, I looked on YouTube for about an hour, and I could not find another video on these specific models. These are, you see that, Rio Forge MP3 players. Um, these are not new. They, these are probably actually the oldest out of all my players. They were manufactured between 2002 and 2004. Um, for many of you that never heard of Rio, so I get that to focus in. Rio was one of the first um, companies that started making MP3 players back probably around 1999, 2000. As a matter of fact, the original um, real player, and if you guys remember, Napster used to have uh, built-in devices that you could transfer the music directly to, and I remember at least two out of the probably 50 devices that were in there were these particular Rios. Um, I really enjoy these. These, Even though they're not the latest technology, they do have some features that I really, really like. Let's go ahead and turn this one on. And I actually do have three of these. Uh, I just can't locate the other one right now. As you can see, it says Rio. And right now, I've been listening to a little of the police. Comes up with this menu, and it'll tell it, it'll tell it'll save the spot where you were last time. So the last song I was listening to was "Sing Rosity by the Police." Uh, you can go to the menu, which is this button here, and that gets you to that you can play music. You can do the bookmarks. You can uh, store some of your favorite songs got settings, the FM tuner, which lets you listen to any FM station, and it's actually a tuner, it's not like one of those uh, syncing ones, you can actually tune it to the specific station that you want. We have the stopwatch feature, which is really kind of neat. Let's see if I remember how to do this, there we go, play does it, and I'm assuming stop stops it. Oh, no, just hit play again, I guess, to stop it. Yep. Then you have two about this device. And the first one is about the player. And you can see this particular one was made in 2004. Gives you a little information about this. And then down here is the storage. Now, this is where these come in real handy. Uh, it has it only has you can see 128 megabytes of internal storage, but it does have an SD card slot. And in this case, I have a two gigabyte SD card in there. And I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like on this one. You remove this. It's hard to do with one hand. And another nice feature about this, it runs on one AAA battery. Yeah, I'm not kidding, one AAA battery pull it out. You can see right there. And out of this one AAA battery, you will get at least 10 hours of playtime, which I think is pretty awesome for a device this old. And right in here, you push on that, and that's where the SD card is. As you can see, this is just a 2 gigabyte. Forgive me, this is very hard to do one-handed. This one's just a 2 gigabyte um, SanDisk card. Now, officially, because this is, does not read high capacity cards, officially, 2 gigabyte is the biggest card you can put in here. And that still will give you a lot of music. But, I was looking on eBay, and in the near future, I want to purchase what they call a 4 gigabyte uh, SD card. Not, they actually have these, a company over in Japan makes uh, these high, these non-high capacity 4 gigabyte cards. So this player should be able to read those and uh, they say have about 80% success rate. So theoretically I can make this hold up to 4 gigabytes of music. 
me go in here again, I'll show you. You can go under settings. Another nice feature here is the equalizer. You can have, of course, the regular rock, jazz, you know, the presets. But I like to go under custom. You can see you can actually adjust it just like you would a regular graphic equalizer. And it really does a nice job. And when you're done, you push this middle button and it says OK. Um, these are extremely hard to find. I actually had found my original one at our local uh, thrift store and that was probably about two or three years ago and the other day I was in there and I found a bag they actually had three of these in a bag for six dollars and ninety eight cents so I snapped them right up unfortunately one of them was bad uh, I was able to use it for parts but it had a bad uh, ROM chip in there now I'll go ahead and put this here let me see if my camera will focus there we go and you can pause there so you can read exactly what model this is. It's the Rio Forge 128. And again, I highly recommend these. Uh, if you can find one out there, get it because they are durable and they have some of the best sound quality I've ever seen in an MP3 player. Next, we have this right here. This is an RCA Opal, oops, Opal player. This I actually picked up at uh, a local uh, storage sale that we have every weekend. I think I paid about five dollars for this. Um, this is a neat little device. It, it's reminiscent of uh, one of the SanDisk MP3 players that I'm familiar with. Again, this is the main. This is the main screen when you're listening to a song tells you what the song is and uh, who the artist is, in this case the Carpenters. You hit menu on this. Uh, this is the main menu. You've got music, pictures. You can put pictures in this and videos. Uh, it's got a radio, I believe. Yeah, only FM as well. you got the regular music. If I go in there, now here's an odd thing with this. You would think that the middle button would be like an enter button to go into the folder, but it's not. You actually have to push the forward button to get in there. And you can look at the artists, albums, titles. And it'll just start playing again. And this particular one is an 8 gig model. Uh, it, it is a good solid MP3 player. My only complaint about this is the sound quality. It does have a very weak amplifier. Um, I like to use what they call uh, over-the-ear headphones. Let's see if I can find the ones that I have. Uh, I don't have them here right now, but they're, they, they require a system that can handle a, a lot, an amp that can handle a lot of power. And this one just cannot power them. I mean, it, it just sounds really, really tinny. It does not have a lot of bass. Next, I have this little uh, Kobe MP3 player. This was one I picked up at uh, Big Lots mm, probably about two years ago. Nothing special. The sound quality on this is okay. This is a one gigabyte player, and there's the model number. One cool thing with this is... It also works the flash drive, so you can just plug this right into your computer if you want. Just like that, and you can put the music or or even data files on it if you want. This also takes one AAA battery. Unfortunately, the playback time on this is not as good as the Rio's. I'd be lucky to get about four hours before I have to replace the battery with this one. Um, but again, it's it's a decent player. I use this a lot when I go to the beach, you know, places I don't want to take any of my good players. And here's another one. This is something that my uncle gave me right before he passed away. Uh, this is also a, uh, uh, it's a Digitech, which is a Eckerd's brand when that was still in business. See, this one does MP3s. Windows Me and Windows Media files. The other ones I have do not. They are only MP3s. Um, this is also a USB version. Just like the other one, it'll plug right into the computer. 
and this is the information on this one is again a one gigabyte player and also takes the uh, AAA 1.5 volt battery um, I cannot demonstrate these right now because there's 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 really nothing on them uh, I gotta add I gotta put some music on it and I'm also out of AAA batteries at the moment now you're probably saying to yourself what is he doing with two iPod shuffles? Well, I actually just picked these up this past weekend. Not this weekend, the weekend before. Um, I did not have any iPods in my uh, collection until this. Um, I'll go over each one real quick. Uh, this one right here, I've tried to do a little research on it, but I couldn't find that much. This is an iPod shuffle one gigabyte but it has an HP logo on it, which makes me think this might have been sold with a HP laptop or something to that effect. Um, this side is your power. To turn it on, you uh, actually have to put it in one of these modes. If my camera will focus. There you go. You can put it in, whoop, you can put it in continuous play, which means it, it, it'll play the songs that have been put on there see if I can get this focus better. There we go. You can get this uh, to play it in uh, the way it's put on. And this one down here is random, so it'll play the songs just randomly. And that's this bottom one right here. On the front, you just have your standard buttons. You have play, pause, volume up and down, and rewind and fast forward. I'm assuming it probably had a cover on there originally, but when I got it, uh, it, it it didn't. I mean, I only paid two dollars for it, so I'm really not complaining. Sound quality is okay. Um, as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of Apple products uh, when it comes to the MP3 players because of the sound. This is decent. I would say this is probably comparable to the RCA. Maybe the RCA sounds just a little bit better. But again, this is nice for uh, going long trips because the battery does last a long time. This will actually give you about a day and a half to two days of continuous play. Now, down to this one. This is uh, one of the first generation um, shuffles. Uh, this is actually the one I was more familiar with. I never even knew that this type existed. Um, this one's a silver model. Actually, I think it's supposed to go like that. On the front you have, again, same thing, play, pause, volume up and down, and rewind and fast forward. On the top here, this is where your headphones go in. I'm not sure what that is. I'm assuming that's probably a microphone port right there, a microphone. On the bottom you have your power switch on the right, and that light, if you switch it on, that's just an LED to tell you that the power's on. There you go. And on the left, you have the same switch as it had on the other one. Right now, it's in uh, continuous play, which means it'll play the songs in the order that they were put on this iPod. If you put it to the left, which is that one that has the two arrows going different ways, that's random. So it'll play a track from one album, they'll go to another album and play it. And it is totally random. You can look on the back here and you see that this is a nice little clip. This one will actually clip right to your shirt, so I actually kind of like this design a little bit better. This this one just seems kind of bulky and just awkward. Uh, sound quality on this, this is actually a little bit better than this unit. I guess they used a different amp, and as many of you have told me, and I do now agree, the older iPods had better sound quality. Well, that is my MP3 player collection for now. Uh, I do have a few more um, that I couldn't put my fingers on right now because I am trying to desperately clean out my closet, and they are in there. <laughs> so it's probably going to be a few more weeks. But when I get those out, I'll go ahead and do a follow-up video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Please like and comment on my videos. Have a good day, everybody.